Hey y'all, in this video I'm going to discuss standard deviation projections and time. I'm going to uh, discuss ICT standard deviation projections using two models, advanced gap theory and advanced breaker block theory. I am a uh, promoter of top step trading. Please use my uh, link in the description box below if you want to start your own trading combine. Okay, uh, standard deviation projections can be taken from more than two models from, from Michael, but I'm going to show you the two that I am familiar with, and that is advanced breaker block theory and advanced gap theory. So first, we're going to talk about uh, gap theory, and then we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about standard deviations from breaker block theory. So I have a video on advanced gap theory, um, but we're going to go from here. So a breakaway gap should be the first sign that you see. So that's a SIBI right there. Um, you see the price doesn't, it forms that SIBI and does not trade back to it. So that is a breakaway or a measuring gap. Because it's the first gap in the sequence, um, I'm going to say that that is going to be a breakaway gap. The next gap is going to be here, and that's going to be our measuring gap. Okay. What you want to do is you want to take it from swing initiate a swing initiation and take it to the measuring gap, which should be the second gap in the sequence. And then you want to project that lower. You can see the price uh, came down a full standard deviation. Now, how you use that with time is you look at what time of the day it is. Uh, does price is it the right time for price to move down one or even two standard deviations? So we can see that would be two standard deviations. Uh, we made it all the way to one and a half, but uh, in the first sort of swing, you see we got a reaction from price right on one standard deviation. So because this was, it was July 4th and we only had a morning session, we didn't have an afternoon session, um, we don't expect price to go too far. Now, as you know, I took losses today because uh, I wasn't entering uh, comfortably the way that I have been. So I did make some trading mistakes today, but regardless of that, um, advanced gap theory, you want to use uh, identify your breakaway gap and then identify the second gap in the sequence should be a measuring gap. From that point, you want to take from swing initiation to the measuring gap and then you can do the standard deviations from the top of the measuring gap or from the bottom okay if you're aiming for your profit target you actually want to you know get your profit targets filled then I would say take it from the top here okay so you can see that we did end up though in this case price moved down one full standard deviation before reacting using our advanced gap theory now Using that with time, you want to memorize your sessions of the day. So what do I mean by that? You want to you want to kind of memorize where price is. And the different sessions are Asia AM, Asia PM, New York Midnight, uh, London Session. You can even break it down to London AM, London PM, and then pre-market. So you expect there to be some sort of a Judas swing or a contra move, a contra intended move for the day just prior to the New York Open. Uh, and then you have New York AM, New York Lunch, and New York PM. So those describe all of your uh, sessions. When you're running out of time in the trading day, you should be uh, not expecting price to make its biggest moves of the day. Generally speaking, you expect price to make its largest standard deviation moves during the New York AM session from 0930 to 1200 New York local time. It is at that time of the day, uh, and prior to that in the pre-market really, that you are expecting price to make its biggest moves. The second largest move should come from 0200 to 0500, which is the London session. And sometimes if it, there's an economic release, um, you would expect it to come around 0630 to, to 0930, and I call that New York pre-market or London PM. So if you're going to have an, a CPI, you're going to have a non-farm payrolls, uh, whatever, you would expect your largest standard deviation moves to come in the pre-market. Now. If, you're, if it's going to be an FOMC day, if Jerome Powell is going to speak, then you would expect your largest standard deviations to come during New York PM session. Rarely would you expect it to come overnight during the London session, so maybe you know you need to scale back your profit targets if it's 0200 to 0500. Um, kind of your like bread and butter, if it's not an FOMC and it's not a non-farm payrolls, it's a normal standard trading day, you would ex generally expect it to come during the New York AM session. So. There's a little bit of that. 
Um, if it's a Friday and prices needs to quickly reprice to get to liquidity targets, you might expect it to come in the pre-market. So we talked about, I think I've mentioned, or Michael's mentioned, the, uh, the repricing algorithm. So those are some of the factors that, that you should use with this in terms of your timing. Now, your advanced gap theory standard deviations should align with uh, another target. Like you can see that we had sell side liquidity here. So it was reasonable for price to come down one standard deviation and make it to sell side liquidity here before reacting, which is exactly what price did. So you sh it should align with um, another price-based target like liquidity or inefficiency. Okay, second, uh, second standard deviation model is going to be advanced breaker block theory and that, uh, I'm going to show you that now. So we can use our advanced gap theory for standard deviations and we can also use breaker block theory. So let's get down to a one minute time frame here and I'm going to show you a bearish breaker block. A bearish breaker block is a high, a low, and then a higher high. That higher high should ideally push into higher time frame liquidity. Okay, it's a high, it's a low, and it's a higher high. This is point A to point B. Okay, right there. Now, you can take these standard deviations as low as you want. Uh, the same thing as you want to, uh, let's see, negative, so negative five. Okay, I think we got a pretty clean reaction there. Now, breaker block theory, so we take it from point A to point B. We have a high, a low, a higher high. Price comes back into the bearish breaker and then moves lower. Let's get back to a five minute chart. Um, you can see the price, it confirms that it came down five standard deviations from the bearish breaker. It came down one standard deviation from advanced gap theory it came down five bearish breaker standard deviations. Both of those targets came right in at 1,000, or sorry, 15,346 halves, and you can see exactly there, we had our first reaction from price, and then price trades between the five and the four, and then we get a retracement almost to the two, okay? Um, so again, you want to use uh, two of these models to project where price wants to go. The first model is going to be your advanced gap theory. Second model, advanced breaker block theory. Both of these standard deviations should give you an idea of where price wants to go. You then want to include time theory. What time of the day is it? What session is it? Okay, if it's New York AM, we're expecting multiple standard deviations. If it's London session, if it's Asian session, one standard deviation, maybe two. All right, kind of maximum. Um, your first target, right, is always just going to be that one standard deviation, you can, and you can see it comfortably came there. But if it's New York AM, that's kind of a very, very conservative target if it's New York AM. Um, but if it's, you know, Asian session, resettlement, whatever, it's New York midnight, you're not expecting price to move that much, so uh, you wouldn't expect it to fill out the full standard deviations. Now, looking into the future, we can see that we had a breaker block here. Why? Because we had a low, we had a high, we had a lower low. Now, did this low that we had at the very end of the day today, did it come into sell side liquidity? Not quite, a little bit. It swept sell side liquidity. So that is a bullish breaker. Using our standard deviation projections, go to a little bit of a higher time frame, we can see that our standard deviations take us to buy side liquidity, inefficiency at the two, that's a wick inefficiency, and then again with buy side liquidity at the third standard deviation. Now, I would not expect price to go up three standard deviations right on right after resettlement today. I would expect us maybe to get to, there's a couple other points that you can use and that's a quarter and a half standard deviation. Okay, using our breaker block. And that would take us right back to where we were during uh, the New York AM session today. Okay, quarter standard deviation and a half standard deviation. That would take us into our SIBI here, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. And, and the same thing, we have a WIC here, a WIC inversion, WIC inefficiency on our uh, right up here. Okay, So that is how you use standard deviation projections using two models, advanced gap theory and breaker block theory. They might not both be there at the same time. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. That's how you are going to project where price should want to go. It should confirm a liquidity target or it should confirm an inefficiency target. 
And then if you combine that with what time of the day it is, you know, kind of broad strokes, like what, what sort of movement would you expect from this time of the day, given is there a news driver, is there not a news driver, is this Friday, uh, et cetera, et cetera, that's kind of giving you an idea of how many standard deviations you think it, it is likely to move uh, at this time. So wanted to just get that, uh, get that out there. That's for my own learning. I know that I went very quickly. I am going to link all the model videos from ICT in the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video recording on standard deviation projections using advanced gap theory and advanced breaker block theory along with uh, time theory. Okay, so in the description box below is going to be Sorry, not in the description. In the comment, comment section below, I'm going to link all of the videos from ICT that explain this stuff. Um, please use my Top Step affiliate. Go get, sign up for Combine, all that good stuff. Bye.